Hi, uh, welcome back, I guess. I don't know. If you watch the last video, you'll see what type of game we're going to be building. Uh, if you want to get just straight into the coding, then this is probably the video you want to start out at. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is open up Unity Hub, create a new project. Uh, it's going to be a 2D project, and we are going to name it. Uh, I'm just going to call this YouTube or YT Arena game because that's what we're going to be building we're going to be building that kind of arena game that I had built earlier uh, a good thing to do is or a good thing to practice is building a repository location so under here I have it under my D drive repository uh, unity and these are all the games that I have built and then we're going to create it it's going to take Unity a little bit to set it all up. Uh, so things we'll cover is kind of um, in this video is creating our main menu, uh, having it load up into our next scene, which will be our scene where we're going to handle like purchasing your heroes and I don't know, purchasing equipment for them, seeing your level, seeing how much gold you have, and then um, getting ready to send your your little heroes off to the, um, sorry, to the arena to fight for you, I guess. Okay. Like I said, it takes a little bit. Uh, next thing we're gonna do, or like the very first thing I'm going to do is set this up so it's actually set up for mobile development. So I have it clicked on Android and we're just gonna hit switch platform and that will set up everything to work for Android. If you do it now rather than after you've already started working on your game, it'll be a whole lot faster because you won't have to worry about this, um, sorry, converting too much stuff into uh, a mobile. Uh, da, 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 da. Sorry, just humming to myself. The other thing we'll do is we'll go over how to set up your 2D sprites to be um, rigged and animated. So now that we have that, uh, we're gonna first build our main menu. So scenes, I'm gonna just delete this scene here. Create a new scene called main menu. and open that up. Okay, in our main menu, we're gonna right click on the hierarchy, create a new object called a canvas. And this is Unity's UI or user interface thing. As you'll see, it creates this giant looking square thing. We don't actually need it that big. I'm gonna go into canvas and set our render mode to world space camera and just drag our little camera over here and you'll see that it now sets that UI up to equal or to be the size of our display. The other thing you want to do is figure out what type of resolution you want it to play in and if you want it to be a portrait or landscape. Uh, right now I'm going to set it up to this because this seems to work pretty consistently on a lot of my phones. And then what we're going to do is we're going to click on canvas and you want it to constantly change this screen re or, or not constantly change, sorry. Uh, be able to fit in any screen resolution that you select or that is on the person's phone. And so what we'll do is we'll scale with screen size and we're gonna set this to whatever the screen size we're working in. So 2960 by 1440. 
And so now if we switch different resolutions, uh, once we actually get some stuff on our canvas, you'll see that um, it resizes and refits that to the scene. Okay, so now that we have our scene here, we're gonna want to build uh, the background. I always drag this in here. I don't know why, it's just something I always do, but I drag the event system into our canvas. Uh, then we're gonna want to create an empty, and this will be our backgrounds. I like to put everything within empty objects. That way um, it organizes it better in the hierarchy, keeps the hierarchy from looking like a complete mess and allows you to find everything easier. So then we're going to go find a image here that we're gonna use as our background. Uh, really doesn't matter, so we'll go, I have what, we'll use this one here. Drag this into our assets folder. Whatever image you wanna use is fine. And we're gonna create a new folder for our sprites sprites drag that in there and I also want to create another folder for just backgrounds and again just just to keep our project organized now that we have our background set up we're gonna go into our or right click on our background and create a UI image and now we're gonna learn about, um, sorry, anchoring and how to keep that so the image always displays in the same spot regardless of what the screen size is. So we're gonna click on our background. You're gonna see this thing over here in your inspector on the left side. Click on that, hold Control Shift Alt. And what that'll do is that'll scale the object to equal its parent's size. So currently our parent is the canvas. So we're gonna click that and it's gonna set our anchors and the size of that empty object to equal the parent size. And the anchors are basically this little triangle thing that you can't really see very well right now, but now you can. Uh, and that basically tells where, or Unity, where you want that object to be um, anchored to and that'll be you'll be able to see that here in a second when we switch screen resolutions here uh, same thing we're gonna do with the image we're just gonna rename it to our background ground and then we're going to drag in our image onto the sprite or the source image and we're gonna right or sorry left click here do the same thing where we hit control shift alt and scale that out and so now we have a cool little background and we're gonna click on game and you can see now if we switch the resolution, it will keep the, um, the size here relatively the same. So as you see, uh, what's actually being displayed isn't changing very much. Sorry, so go to free aspect. You can still see the top of this little sign here is got, has the same distance from the edge as this one does and so that's the usefulness of anchors so that we'll also add in a button here so under our canvas we're going to create a ui object and we're going to create the start button to start the game so button uh, and then we're going to call this the start game button start game button if I can spell and you know, zoom in here you'll see it creates this little button here we can click oh, sorry I'm gonna turn off gizmos so we don't have to see that camera there uh, you can see we can click here and we can drag this button here and you'll see the importance of anchoring here in a second so now if we go into our game view, we zoom out here, and we look, if we go into different aspects, 
because our we're not uh, we don't have that button anchored properly the button is going to remain the same size on the screen regardless of which um, display we have so it's gonna be this massive button but what we can do is set it to anchor and scale so go back into our scene view we need to turn on gizmos again so we can see the anchors and now we want it to anchor uh, to equal right like so it keeps the same distance from the edges rather than um, being in the same spot so here we go we'll just do a quick view you see how it got scaled up a little bit there scaled down and now it's actually like scaling with the screen so that's what the anchors do basically tell you where you want the object to be at and um, sorry <laughs> uh, how you want it to scale so we're gonna go back into our button and in our scene view we can actually change the size of this button because we don't need it this big and another thing is I don't need the actual text here so we're gonna delete the text sorry by clicking on the text and clicking delete I'm gonna go find a picture for the button let's just grab doesn't matter I have these that I downloaded from craft picks craft picks has a lot of free assets as well as um, ones that you can buy we're gonna find a good button loading screen here let's we'll take this button here hit play game what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag that again into our sprites and we'll create a folder for UI you can use obviously whatever graphics you want for your game uh, so start game button we're gonna drag that in and so now we have this giant button we're gonna switch these anchors here unless you want it to constantly be sized based off of there another thing you can do is just have it equal the whole screen size so the button will remain uh, the same size regardless of what screen you're using and when you hit play you can see the way unity sets up buttons is it um, when you click on it it kind of changes the color slightly if you want to adjust which tint it uses we can change that to so say let's change the tint to red and so when we click on the button it changes it to red saying that we're getting ready to play the game all right, here's where we're going to create our first script. So we have our button and we have our background. We're going to create a second scene to or to go to. So create a new scene. Oops. New scene. If I can click on the right thing here. Create a new scene here and we're going to just call this uh, game scene game scene all right we're going to create a script that will let us go between the main menu screen and the game screen so under our assets we're going to create a folder for scripts and we're going to spell it right we're going to open that up create a new script called main menu And what this main menu script is going to do, it's going to control everything on this main menu. So if you want to add in extra buttons to say, turn off the sound right away, or if you want to do what I did in the previous video, which is change the background randomly, which I can do later, but right now we want to get the function of just being able to switch between our main menu that loads up when you load up the game to our actual gameplay and so we're going to click on we're going to create a new empty object within the hierarchy 
And we're just going to name this main menu controller. Main menu controller. You can title it whatever you want, but I find just naming everything that controls some part of the game as controller, it makes it easier to find. And when I look at it in the hierarchy, I already know what it does. So uh, we're going to open up the script. We do, so I don't need these. Uh, what you do need to do is set it up so that the script can control the screens or the scenes that we're in. So using Unity engine dot scene manager or scene management sorry so that is what actually controls the scenes in unity and to actually access that you need to be using it within this top portion what we're going to do is we're going to create one simple function in this and all we need to do is a public void start game Right, that's just a function that's going to start the game for us. And within this function, we're going to call in scene manager or scene management. So scene management manager dot um, load scene load scene. And what we want to do is we want to load the next scene. And so if we click here load up this go into our scenes we want to load up the game scene so we need to get the name you can do it by just typing it or we can get that name spelled exactly by copying the name and we will paste it here within quotations and so what that's going to do is that's going to load this scene and we're going to test this out here by having this button say on click drag our main menu controller as the object that's going to control what does the on click click on here main menu and we're just gonna have it say start game right that's the function we want to run when we click and you'll see an error come up here or something unexpected uh, when we try to run this and I'll explain why it's happening but hit play and because this is here and we know that it's the scene management should load the game scene we're gonna click and it's not doing anything and down here you'll see game scene could not be loaded because it's not added to build settings or asset bundle has not been loaded so what that's saying is that we're gonna go into build settings and we have no scenes in our build so to do that we can either click add open scene and that will load up the current scene that's uh, loaded up so currently our main menu scene is the one that's loaded or we can drag and drop all of our scenes here and the top scene in this is going to be the first scene that's going to load up when you actually build the program so we want our main menu to be on top and that'll be the first scene that will load up all right so let's save that save our scene and now we'll try it out and when we push this it should load up a blank blue screen there you go so this is now as you can see over in our hierarchy our game scene and that is how easy or that's basically how to set up a main menu screen and how to change scenes between um or how to change between scenes sorry i'm trying to think and talk at the same time <laughs> okay so we got our main menu and our game scene we're going to open up our game scene here so you can see it's blank so the thing we're going to do here is we're going to also create another ui so ui canvas and so we got our blank canvas here and we're going to do the exact same thing we did with the last main menu so we're going to change to render mode to screen space camera we're going to drag our camera in there and now we have our ui set up so we can actually view it easily 
and we're going to set our scale size again to be our game screen size so 290 or 2960 to 1440 and so that will scale or help us scaling and then we're going to load a background and that'll be it for this video the next video will go over creating our game scene and setting up the buttons and having it load up our arena uh, so with that i will leave you with this uh, if you liked this content please like and subscribe uh, leave a comment if you have any questions about what we went over today or uh, any suggestions whatever even positive negative I don't care just something <laughs> and uh, yeah I'll be making that next video tomorrow I'm gonna actually do some other stuff tonight so I won't be making another video until tomorrow and I will try to make at least one video a day uh, anywhere between like 10 minutes to however long it actually does take me to go over a specific topic that I'll be covering that day. So this one was just creating our basic main menu. Anyway, uh, again, thanks for watching and uh, hope to see you guys next time. Bye.